Morning guys, hope you're all well and had a nice weekend. It's uh, Monday morning. As you've seen, I've actually got up for the gym for a change. After a relaxing weekend, it actually makes uh, getting up that little bit easier. Um, so yes, yeah, something a little bit different today, guys. As you can sort of see, I'm in my apartment and I'm actually vlogging this time. So I'm all on my own. I haven't got a team with me telling me sort of what to do for a change. Um, so yeah, wanted to mix it up a little bit. Um, still going to take you on the road with me pretty much from start to finish today. So we're going to get up to see um, a new project we're launching in Sheffield. Um, really nice, um, good sort of uh, project. Um, completion only in sort of 12 months, so not too far away. So I'm going to take you around to have a little look at that. Um, also sort of going to um, show you guys um, Fargate, which is a development we did not too long ago. Um, that's going to be something in which, um, yeah, we get to sort of see construction updates, how it's getting on. I think I pro probably mentioned I invested in it personally, so I want to sort of, uh, yeah, see how it's all coming along. So, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see you guys. Hope you uh, like this uh, this style of vlog. And, um, yeah, I'll take you on a road with me. See you, in, see you in Sheffield. So just got on the train at um, St Pancras, uh, heading up to uh, Sheffield. And I may have uh, just ruined the uh, the gym session this morning and uh, got my daughter's breakfast. So, uh, yeah, probably not the best thing to have when you've just done a workout, but hey-ho. Um, and look, one thing I always get asked, guys, in terms of the... Um, sort of train up here and um, in terms of how easy is it how long does it take etc so it's really really straightforward and um, you either typically go from um, St Pancras which is where I'm heading to the likes of um, Sheffield today um, uh, Leeds uh, you'll go from King's Cross um, and then you've got London Euston now London Euston takes me to the likes of Manchester Liverpool um, Birmingham those types of cities so you're typically on one of the other stations now in terms of uh, time it takes so Manchester Liverpool um, Sheffield um, yeah that, where else Leeds those types of cities typically take in the region of two two hours 15 something like that and um, one typically one straight journey no need to change pretty straightforward i like it to get a lot of work done as well on the train um haven't got anyone uh, in the office or called him a name um, and then to get to the likes of birmingham is obviously a little bit um quicker that takes you a little over uh, an hour and 15 minutes now um hs2 is obviously due to come and um, that's going to um, typically help things that's going to halve the time to the likes of Manchester and um, taking a little over an hour and it's going to shave about sort of 20 25 minutes off of the time to Birmingham so that's going to take uh, about 40 45 minutes so yeah if you're ever sort of want to take a trip up here guys I'm, I said as you've probably seen I'm always up here um, and it is really really straightforward um, but yeah I'm just now going to enjoy the uh, McDonald's breakfast just arrived at um, Sheffield and uh, yeah, just got the sort of said couple of hours up from uh, from London. I said that's all it takes. Pretty straightforward. So I'm going to sort of uh, take a trip down to um, this development, which is Langford Tower. I call it Langford Tower because it towers above Sheffield, um, so it's going to offer some stunning views across it. Yeah, look, Sheffield for me is a really underrated city. There's a lot going on here, and probably more than what anyone actually realises. As you can see, just behind here, you've got sort of cranes in the background. There's a lot that's going on. Now it forms part of uh, well, there's a billion pounds being spent on the city. Um, for starters um, we're now in the third phase of that that's a mi mixture of obviously revitalizing the, the shop areas the commercial obviously residential but the residential is where it's sort of really happening and the reason being is there is a real sort of distinct lack of supply um, across Sheffield they are they've only built I think something like 7,000 homes in the last decade um, which is really really not a lot and obviously that's caused a massive shortage massive undersupply um, prices have gone up uh, about eight and up to what over eight and a half percent in the last 12 months so yeah it's a really really good city to be to be looking in um, you've got um, what over 60,000 um, students as well within the city centre um, and she the University of Sheffield is one of the top ranking unis in the top 20 in the whole of the UK and, um, yeah a couple of minutes away from the uh, from the actual development itself and uh, one thing I wanted to um, sort of quickly uh, mention as I forgot to last time is in terms of um, Sheffield, it's actually uh, considered, or obviously was once very quite an industrial um, city, really, and it's now actually been recently voted um, one of the greenest cities in the UK. I am now in the Langford Tower. So as you can see, the old uh, high vis is on, and I've had to put all the PPE on. Um, so this guy said, this is the show apartment in the one bedroom um, apartment. The key point of this development, 169 units, Returns of eight to 10% uh, plus, because we can do short-term lets within the lease. That's the key part for me with this development. I think it's gonna be really, really successful on short-term lets. Um, was a former residential building, all being sort of completely and utterly refurbished, was sort of more home to sort of students. 
Um, now they're sort of going for more of a high-end, um, young professional um, style look. So again, um, that's sort of really reflected in the actual quality of finish, which I said I'll show you in a second. Um, so yeah, 169 units. Prices um, for the one beds, we're now looking at sort of 150, 160. Only a 20% deposit. So you guys only need sort of roughly 30K, give or take now. Um, and then uh, remaining balance once it's completed, which is I said, roughly 12 months um, away. So guys, as you walk through the uh, front door, you've got really nice modern looking uh, bathroom. Um, this sort of black finish is really in um, at the moment. I'm sort of starting to see this a lot in uh, a lot of the apartments. Um, then you've got a really nice, um, decent size um, bedroom. So again, really sort of wood floors all throughout, floor to ceiling windows, um, which are sort of out uh, to well, give a huge amount of obviously light in the, uh, in the apartment, as you can see. But again, all in all, decent size um, bedroom. Um, and in fact, guys, this is actually one of the smaller uh, apartments. And then we head through into the, um, yeah, sort of kitchen, dining, living area. You'll see sort of this winter garden here, which allows you a bit of uh, outdoor space as well. And then if we come round, this is the actual one bedroom apartment. So the quality of finish these guys have done it to is really, really nice, high standard, um, obviously fully integrated appliances. And I said, this dark um, type of finish, um, I'm really starting to uh, see in a lot of apartments now. I think it sort of uh, seems to be the end thing, but, um, yeah, all in all, guys, said so this is one of the smaller one beds, but for me, it's a decent size. Um, comfortably going to um, sort of, you're comfortably let this to like either a, a young professional or a young couple that are working in, in Sheffield City Centre. Yeah, as you can see, guys, this is um, the building behind me, essentially. So, I said, high rise building, all, all floor to ceiling windows. That's one of the big things I noticed in the actual development is that you've literally got an abundance of light. Um, obviously, some of them with the units have got nice sized balconies as well. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really nice. I was actually pleasantly surprised. Decent sizes. Um, but yeah, all in all, guys, your perfect location. I said you're 10 minutes from, or it took me t about 15 minutes to be fair, walk um, from the station. Um, I'm now going to sort of walk through the, um, the like, sort of the high streets. I'm now going to sort of head down to development I purchased. I want to see how that's getting on. Um, but yeah, this, this for me, guys, is definitely a scheme to be looking at. I said 20% down, only needing sort of, um, yeah, roughly 30K, give or take, um, for the one bed. And I think you're going to do so well out of a short-term let um, out of it. For me, that's the that's the, really the, the, the big one for this particular development is I think you can generate some really, really good returns. I'm just in Fargate House and I'm with uh, Oliver, um, who is from Prosperity. Um, we work with Oliver, yeah, on not only obviously this project, but on a number of them. And uh, yeah, he's just sort of showing me around my apartment. And yeah. Um, yeah, still smiling, guys, so I'm pleased. Um, Oliver, how, how's it going here, mate? How's construction going along? I know you, you told me we're slightly ahead of uh, sort of schedule, potentially. Yeah, absolutely. So the, I think the team here has just really gelled, uh, working together great, uh, and we're really powering God. As you can see, the, uh, the plasters have been through, the first fix is done, so we're really, really, really getting on well. Uh, next step is fixtures and fittings to be put in. Perfect, thanks mate. And um, yeah, guys, as I said, I'm really pleased with it. I mean, these are the sort of views we've got from the apartment. So this overlooks, as I said, the cathedral here. And you can see you've got a tram stop, um, literally just leaving there. So yeah, can't say I'm, uh, I'm too, uh, well, too disheartened, guys. It's all going on nicely and nice to see things at a schedule. So cheers, buddy. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. And uh, guys, I'll show you a bit of the outside in a second, where the high street is and where you get the trams from and stuff like that, just give you a bit more insight. Overall, guys, I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with uh, said how uh, how it's coming along. It's coming along nice. This is the building, as you can see behind me. This is the exterior of it. Um, I said you've got the cathedral just there, so the tram stop. So yeah, it's a really really sort of like slap bang in the city centre. Um, so yeah, this is sort of as I said this isn't far from I said Langford Tower. They're sort of ten minutes apart. It's just the other side of the high street, basically with Langford Tower. Um, but yeah, said all in all, guys, I'm, I'm pleased. As you, one thing I've also sort of, um, noted to obviously you guys as an investor, because it's really easy to get emotionally attached to um, sort of what it looks like, the visual aspect and stuff. And look, I'm not going to be sort of uh, completely honest with you guys. Look, it's this particular building, this Fargate, it's not the sort of most stunning looking building. It's not sort of some high rise new build um, apartment. But from, a, from an investment perspective, as I said, um, look at either traditional lets or short term. I know it's going to rent and it's going to deliver on the returns. I was just speaking to the site manager in there and he was sort of saying that um, some of his workers have come up from Nottingham um, and that basically some of the guys obviously coming from there wanted to stay up here and they just couldn't find anything to rent. And that obviously really highlights that lack of supply that I mentioned earlier in terms of not enough housing. It, it sort, of, um, sort of shows, again, the short-term let perspective. Not only are you going to do sort of city breaks, but you've got corporate lets that we can let to and stuff like that as well so yeah really pleased guys i'm now just going to um said walk back through the city 
um, head back towards the, uh, the station and uh, yeah, sort of make my way back to London and uh, yeah, finish up for the day. Probably got loads to catch up on being out the office, that's always the way it is, but hey ho, um, it's good to sort of get up to said another city, show you guys around and yeah, hopefully you like it, but I'll uh, head back to, to London and give you a shout. So guys, just got back to uh, the home at Canary Wharf. I'm just going to pop in to uh, see the guys in the office, see how they finished up. I reckon a few of them will probably still be there with how busy we are at the moment. So back in the office, just sort of uh, literally tied up everything, ready for these uh, interviews tomorrow. Um, a few of the guys are still here. I'll introduce you to uh, good old Tom here. Oh, Mr. No. Tom Collins. We've got jo Georgie Boy here. We've got Ricky Elson in the corner. He's just come back from sunny Australia, so he's got a nice tan. And then we've got Danny here, our newest recruit, just here. And then we've got the lovely Shanice in the corner at the uh, Prestige um, desk here, which is the new arm of the business that we're setting up. Yep, the tidy section, she likes to call it. Um, so yeah, guys, it's been a really productive day. Hope you like Sheffield. Hope you like this style of video. It's been obviously a bit different. As always, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, look forward to taking you on the next journey. And um, yeah, see you soon. Take care.